Welcome back to GM Academy. Okay, let's have another set of the differentiation of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, we have the derivative of the inverse secant of x is equal to 1 all over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1. Then, uh, using the chain rule, we have the derivative of the inverse secant u with respect to x is equal to 1 all over uh, the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times um, the du over dx. So we need to multiply the derivative of u with respect to x here. Then for the cotangent function, the derivative of the inverse cotangent of x is equal to the negative of 1 all over 1 plus x squared. And for the chain rule counterpart, we have the derivative of the inverse cotangent of u is equal to the negative 1 all over 1 plus u squared times um, the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, then last, the derivative of the inverse cosecant of x is equal to the negative 1 all over the absolute value of x times the square root of x squared minus 1. And for the chain rule counterpart of this is the inverse, the derivative of the inverse cosecant of u is negative 1 all over the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, to understand more, uh, let's have, under, uh, let's have sample problem. Okay, let's have our function of y is equal to the inverse secant of 6x. Okay, so using the chain rule counterpart, we will let u be equal to 6x. Then our function of y now will be the inverse uh, secant of u. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x using the chain rule is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, this is d over du of y, which is the inverse secant of u times the derivative of uh, u which is 6x. Okay, so we have the dy over dx is equal to the derivative of the inverse secant of u is equal to um, that is 1. Okay, that is 1 over the absolute value of u times the square root of u squared minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of 6x that is 6. Okay, so this is 1 times 6 that is 6 all over u which is 6x absolute value multiplied by the square root of 6x squared minus 1. Okay, so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to 6 all over absolute value of 6x times the square root of 6x squared is 36x squared minus 1. Okay, and as we simplify this one, this is equal to 1 
all over x times the square root of 36x square minus 1. Okay, so as you can see, we can cancel out this 6. Okay, this is our dy over dx. Okay, let's have another one. Okay, our function of y is equal to the cotangent inverse of 5x plus 3. Okay, let u be equal to 5x plus 3. Then our function of y now is equal to the inverse cotangent of u. Okay, so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the derivative of y with respect to u times the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, we have the derivative of y with respect to u, which is the inverse cotangent of u times the derivative of 5x plus 3 with respect to x. Okay, so the derivative of y with respect to x, so what is the derivative of the inverse cotangent? That is negative 1 all over 1 plus u square times the derivative of 5x plus 3, that is 5. Okay, so multiply negative 1 to 5, this is negative 5, all over 1 plus u is 5x plus 3. So quantity of 5x plus 3 square. Okay, so this is negative 5 all over 1 plus, so let us take the square of 5x plus 3. That is 25x square plus 30x plus 9. Okay, square of 5x, that is 25x square. Then for the middle term, you will multiply 5x to 3 to 2. That is 30x. Then square of 3, that is 9. Okay, so therefore, our dy over dx is equal to negative 5 all over we have um, 25x square plus 30x plus 10 okay so this is 10 because of 9 plus 1 but we can still um, simplify this one since 5, 25, 30, and 10 are divisible by 5. So we have negative 1 all over 5x square plus 6x plus 2. Okay, so this is our dy or the derivative of y with respect to x. Okay, let's have another problem. Okay, we have function of y is equal to 3 on Okay, we have 3 cosecant inverse of 8x square. Okay, so we will let uh, u be equal to 8x square. So our function of y is equal to 3 cosecant inverse of 8x square. 
Okay, so we have the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to the dy over dx, or the derivative, uh, sorry. We have the derivative of y with respect to u. Multiply it by the derivative of u with respect to x. Okay, we have the d over du of function of y. I'm sorry, uh, this must be... Okay, since we let u be equal to 8x squared, this must be u. I'm sorry. Okay, this must be u. Okay, so we have d over du of 3, the inverse cosecant of u, times the d over dx of 8x squared. Okay, so dy over dx is equal to 3 times the derivative of the inverse cosecant of u. This is um, the negative 1 all over u times the square root of u square minus 1. Multiply it by the derivative of 8x squared. This is 16x. Okay, so to simplify, this is dy over dx. 3 multiplied to negative 1 times 16x. This is negative 48x all over u, which is 8x squared times or the absolute value of 8x squared times u squared. This is 8x squared squared minus 1. Okay. So to simplify, uh, 48 and 8, this is 6. Then cancel x, then x squared. Okay, so our dy over dx is equal to negative 6 all over x times the square root of. A square of 8x squared is 64x raised to 4 minus 1. Okay, so... This is our dy over dx. Thank you for watching.